Okay, hey guys, so it's great good to, to see, see you again. again. Again, you know, I thought it's bittersweet why we're talking today. I mean, I'm sad. I'm I'm, I'm a little teary eyed. How were you guys? You feeling? did like you did like our first interviews when we were yeah. baby babies. Like you I was of, like I was like a toddler back yes, then. I think were, we're gonna. You were. We have to talk to Bonnie first for everything for the rest well, of listen, our life. And, nope, and look at gets... you guys now. You you've grown gentlemen. Oh my God, I feel like your mother. <laughs> I, I honestly, honestly. <laughs> well, listen. Congratulations on everything. Um, you know, I, let's just get right into it because like I said, yes, it's very bittersweet. I mean, this is the final season, but boy, have you guys given us such great three seasons. So thank you for that. Um, thank Rowan, let, let's start with you because I want to know what you're going to miss most about this. Oh, oh <laughs> dude, I'm going to cry today. I, I, <laughs> I can feel it. Um, yeah, I uh, I already miss everybody. You know what happened, Alex? The other day, uh, I was yeah. we, we were driving around town, and um, everybody wants to rule the world came on, and I talk oh, about the free a lot. But like the first camera test that I'd ever did with Alex, they played that song, and it was the first time we were in the costumes, and me and him just danced for like ten oh, minutes. Oh god! And then like the crew starts dancing oh, with you. And it's like oh. so. Um, I think I think it like I I can't think about it too much, otherwise I'm just gonna not leave my room because yeah, I'm so. Sad. But uh, but I'm gonna miss the kids a lot. Yeah. I'm gonna miss. Um, I keep calling you the kids. You're all adults now. I don't know why. <laughs> College, university. Um, but I'm gonna. I'm just gonna miss my family, man. I don't know. Yeah. It sucks. Um, but uh, but we'll see each other a bunch. I'm sure. But uh, yeah, miss being on set. Miss goofing around. Miss trying to make them laugh all the time. Um, yeah. To no avail. Yeah, Alex. What about you? I mean, I'm oh, sure it's the same, but. It's yeah, you know it's too like much stuff. it's like Rowan said you guys are a family now, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. I mean we we've spent like countless countless hours together that like how could we not be this close? You know, mm. and there's there's so many parts of this show that are like it, it it hurts to say goodbye to. It's 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 all these people. It's this family, but it's also like the places we went, the things we did. Yeah. Um. Just the whole experience in general of like having this job that you love so much and then doing it with people that you love so much mm. is like, it hasn't been replicated anywhere else in my life. Like there is nothing that I can compare this experience to. Yeah. Um, and part of me is like, I want to do something else that's just like that one day. And then another part of me is like, I want this to be special. I want to yeah. remember this as like party boys. I'm going to be 80 years old. I'm going to be talking about of course you are of course you yeah. are i mean come on seriously yeah yeah what a gift honestly but you've given us a gift it's it's been fun to watch you um rowan you know season three really steps it up and my gosh for you uh hello like two roles i mean the craziness that ensues in this season how did you even wrap your mind around that i don't know if i ever did just gotta go <laughs> i don't know the first there's this really great moment where you know with what frank's dealing with and, and his uh split personality uh <laughs> uh there's the really great moment first day on set where i was doing it for the first time i'm I'm trying to figure out what the mannerisms are what the you know what the tone is and stuff like that yeah. and you do the first take and i think it was like with alex and then it's like cut and it's just silent <laughs> like, every, like everyone's like this is wild <laughs> like it's so yeah. weird and like uh it, it was it was really fun um and the challenge is super cool and i think it's such a good idea to like how funny is it to think of a 17 year old boy controlled by you know a completely different part of life adult like it, it's yeah it was so much fun to do um yeah and uh, I don't, I don't know. I didn't want to think about it too much because then I would just start overthinking it. So um, I just got in there and, and, and did my thing and, you know, we played yeah. around with it. It is what it is now. Yeah. It yeah, is no, it immortalized was, I mean, on yeah. TV. <laughs> yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. So Alex, for you, when you're, when you're working now uh, in this, on this season with Rowan opposite and, and he's playing, like you're so used to him playing Frank, you know what I mean? But now you've got to adapt to these the split personality type thing. I don't want to give too much away for people who haven't obviously seen it yet. What was that like for you as an actor to deal with Rowan on this on this level? It was surprisingly really fun. It was a really good time of like, I thought I read the script and I'm like, okay, 
this is going to get serious. This is going to be like, we got to take this seriously. We're making it real. No, like we got on set because Joe is so just like sarcastic and dry. He takes this like negative attitude and he just like laughs at it. And it's this whole thing of like, yeah, you think you're tough, huh? You think you're tough, but you don't know anything. And it's like the super cocky of like, he knows exactly what he's doing, but at the same time, he has no clue what he's doing. And it's a great time. Yeah, Some of the best yeah. one-liners you've ever had oh, at yeah. the start of this season. <laughs> the, the character difference is like, it, I'm so in love with it. It's amazing. Yeah. Like the generational dry, sarcastic versus like everything literal, like clockwork. It's so good. Uh-huh. Yeah. And then, you know, obviously the team all comes together too to help solve this and everything. Yeah. Um, and, and you've got the addition of, of Bailey Madison. Oh my goodness. What was it Ooh. like to have her on board? What a... Like, my God, I've been watching her since she was like, what, I don't know, this big, yeah. I don't know, craziness, I mean, Or wait, whoever just, wants to take it. She's the goat, man. She's the I best. Mean, I mean, she's she's just so the greatest. Fun. She is so much fun. She's yeah. also like such a professional. It's insane. Mm-hmm. She's so dialed in and she's so cool. And she like immediately just, I don't know. She's just charming. She's just like, she's so cool. Um. She was so quick to be part of the group and she just brought a whole new energy to the show. Uh, I'm super, super excited for people to see where her character goes and what yeah. she did with it. It's crazy. Yeah. 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 What, what was it like also working with, um, you know, with this cast who obviously you've been with since, you know, the the first show, first, uh, you know, first episode and everything. Um, and to kind of watch how you've all grown. And now that you know your, each other so well, you know, that, that's going to help with putting the scenes together for this last season. Rowan, you want to start with yeah. that? Um, yeah. I mean, I feel like we all grew up together. I feel like the show is like, you know, I never went to like college or university. So for me, it feels like uh, it feels like my post-secondary, so to speak. Um, it, it felt like a place where I sort of learned who I was and learned what I wanted to do and what kind of person I wanted to be. And um and you know second family so like there was a moment this season where like Alex set a line um and normally I'm used to reading with like little brother Joe yeah but like he's become such an adult that like he delivered a line that was like that whoa no <laughs> like, you're, you're such a man now it's so crazy um, so yeah I mean I mean yeah like the years of experience together really helps put the scenes together um I think it's also a, a problem when we're all in a silly mood um sure. and trying to make each other laugh um and it's uh, you know we need a teacher to come around and be like figure it out guys we're here we're here to do a job <laughs> yeah. yeah yeah alex how about you what's it been like for you to work with i mean oh you? man working with these people is just something else it's so special um i've never again i've never done anything like it ever in my life of like the group dynamic that we have and like the way that we get this work done is so unique and like we'll get on set and like in those scenes where we're supposed to be having a good time together and like we're all kind of the group in the show and the group in real life I feel like it really shows yeah um, but then at the same time when we're all trying to be serious and we're too busy laughing um <laughs> like there's nothing and then there's really special moments of like it's not just the actors but like people in the crew are also sure. like in on it as well and then I, I remember there's this one moment I don't remember what we were laughing about I guarantee it was something stupid um <laughs> but course. like it was yeah it was me Ro and Riley and um and Christian and we were laughing like we couldn't stop and then uh Jason Stone our director he popped his head and he's like guys come on let's get it together we gotta get through this scene and then he popped his head back out and then I could hear him giggling he he couldn't even discipline us at the end he was was having too good of a time yeah but that's so awesome okay so now that you guys are pros do you think (laughs) you could be uh sleuths or detectives now in real life now that you've had all this experience alex you start oh man i feel like if i walk i don't i don't have that kind of bravery you know, I don't think I could like go into like an abandoned factory with nothing but a flashlight and just hope that everything goes okay, you know. Um, but like I think I don't know, maybe maybe the more analytical side of things, you know, maybe maybe putting up the mystery board is yeah. is what I can do and then Ro can handle the abandoned factories. I don't know, man. I don't know. <laughs> I- <laughs> 
<laughs> I, yeah, I, the idea of walking around with a flashlight. I feel like I would just wait because the show has been yeah. written for me. I feel, I'd be like, if we just chill, something yeah. will happen. <laughs> we'll see. Yeah. Yeah. A seven foot tall man will attack me. Uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Who knows? It's a good strategy. It's a good strategy. Yeah. Well, look, I, I think that you've done the Hardy Boy legacy so proud, honestly. I mean, from when I was a little girl, not only did I read Nancy Drew, but boy, did I have the whole set of Hardy Boy books, too. So, oh, I mean, man, that's so cool. Yeah. So you, you've done us proud, honestly. Thank you so much for everything. Uh, best of luck. I know I'm going to be speaking to the both of you. Huh. For many more years so uh -huh. let, let's keep a promise on that all right and thank Can't you wait. for your time today guys i really appreciate it it's thank so you. good to talk to you yeah you too you too Zero. take care and yeah. all the Have best a good day. take care okay bye-bye bye bye, bye. bye.